Hi, I'm Andy the Nitris. Uh, welcome to my podcast. This is episode 16. If you would like to find me on Ravelry or Instagram also as Andy the Nitris, um, that's where you can find me. That was a little awkward. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by. Um, if you're um, a new viewer, thanks for checking me out. Maybe like and subscribe. And if you're a returning viewer, Thank you for coming back and checking me out. I have quite a few new followers, I think, um, since maybe the last time. I know that I hit over 100, and I would like to do a giveaway. Um, I think I'm going to organize that for next month uh, in June. That's my birthday month, so we will have more on that next month. In the meantime, let's just jump right into my finished objects. Um, I think last time I showed you a test knit that I was working on. I have since finished those. I think they were called Jewel Vine last time. She's changed the name to Waltz Amongst the Flowers. She's, uh, it's she, it's Danae Smith of Ottercraft Knits and she has a ton of cute sock patterns coming out. There's a whole collection called Spring in My Step. I think they will all be done by August if I remember correctly. I'm really excited for, um, there's one called Walking in the Rain that I'm excited for that to come out. I'm going to have to do those. But these are finished and I really love them. I don't have the yarn information on me, but I talked about it last episode, so if you're completely curious, you can check that out, or you can hop over to my Ravelry. I usually keep that pretty updated with all of my projects. So, another thing that I have finished is my Angel Face Turban, and this is super cute. This is out of Art Yarn. Uh, merino cloud and let's see it's probably gonna look silly with my hair with my hair down maybe not but it's really cute um, I like usually to tuck my hair up in it but I love these little lace eyelet holes and this cute little bow and I think you can find um, the pattern designer under Poison Girls on Instagram, maybe even on Ravelry. Um, her name is Amy Appel, or I think it's, it might be Apple. I couldn't, I, I don't know. It's all in my Ravelry. And another thing that I have finished is my Everyday Slouchy Beanie by Dragon Horde Yarns. And I really like this, the way it turned out. I got a, uh, it was a Knit Picks Stroll Glimmer. And it was like, you didn't get to pick the yarn, they just sent you a random one. And it was just like specimen 18.08 or something like that. But there's like little blips of rainbow in there and I like how on the brim it ended up being really thick and then when you changed your needle size it spaced it out and did like a staggered stripe it's really cute I love the way that this hat fits on my head this br this brim is my favorite it's like a a doubled over brim and I held it double with a um, with a mohair. They both the yarn and the mohair both had sparkles, so it's extra sparkle. And I'm trying to get a rainbow pom pom for the top, but it's really cute. I love it. Can't wear it right now. It's too hot. But this will probably be a go-to hat when fall and winter roll around. Something else I finished is uh, a grocery bag. 
I just randomly picked, I had a huge ball, I think it was Lily Sugar and Cream Cotton. It was like one of the big one pound balls and I just started making crocheted granny square. Like I was going to just do a bunch of washcloths and then when I realized, realized how many I could get out of the one ball, I decided to sew them all together. I did run out of the main color, so I sewed it together with a different color. And so now I have a grocery bag or a beach bag or whatever. So uh, not really any pattern for this, just a granny square. And then I stitch them all together. I made like 13 of them. Um, yeah. No pattern. And then I just picked up and made a handle. And, oh, elephant in the room. I cast on and finished a, a Love Note sweater, which I really love this pattern. It's by Tin Can Knits. And let me back up so I can show you. I did a cropped version. And I didn't have quite enough of the purple. This yarn is... Forbidden Woolery, Forbidden Fiber Co. Or they changed the name. I think my tag said Forbidden Woolery, but they are now Forbidden Fiber Co. And this color is Hermione. This color is Grimlock. I had three skeins of this, and I was not quite sure if I was going to have enough to do the full crop, so I went ahead and went into the Grimlock, but I really love the fade that I did the striping fade that I did with that and this pattern I knit this in like seven days and these cute little like bleeding hearts I just I love this sweater and it's so cute and I can wear it with quite a few of my dresses and different shirts and such so this is a really quick knit if anybody is looking to whip a sweater out in no time this is why everybody's doing the love note because it's so fast. It's like on big needles with, I use DK yarn. You, I think it's written for fingering held with mohair, but who am I kidding? I'm not going to wear mohair in a sweater. I would be too hot. So. And I finished one last thing and I'm not going to be able to show you the whole thing, but I finished my blanket. I finished all of my sunburst squares and I stitched them together and it is gorgeous. My friend was teasing me and was like, oh, I want to come play Twister. I want to come play Twister on your blanket because he said it looks like a Twister board. But it's gorgeous and I love it and it fits the whole length of my couch and it makes me extremely happy. So those are all of my finished objects. Just a real quick run through. Um, I have been working on mainly two projects. I have, you know, I have a lot of projects on needles, but I don't work on many at a time. One of my favorites is my Sleosh slouchy leg warmer socks. This yarn is to the max yarn co and it was a a sock skein with four minis. So right now I'm working on the brioche and it's so beautiful. And I love it and I can't wait to finish these I am entering these in the 80s kids make along that Chevy Rel and Bente and Beth are hosting um, Beth has gracefully bowed out I really honestly respect her she said that Podcasting wasn't bringing her joy, uh, as much joy as she thought it was causing a little anxiety and stress. And I think that is really wonderful when somebody can recognize something in their self and then make that change in their life. That That's just awesome. 
sometimes things will cause me anxiety and in my life and I can't quite always pinpoint what it is or figure it out and then be able to remove that certain thing out of my life that that would be really wonderful and helpful I guess maybe I need to be a little more introspective sometimes but I like hands up to her that's really awesome that you you could understand that that was a source of anxiety and then remove it that's just, I just can't it amazes me so those socks are gonna go into that make long hopefully I get them done in time I think it runs until July 1st if I remember correctly hopefully it's not June 1st because if that's the case they won't get done but the other thing that has had most of my attention as of late is my Telja sweater and it is not mine it is for my grandmother and I like this sweater it's by Jennifer Steingass and I'm using a knitted wit um, worsted I do believe probably we're gonna just go with that all the information is on my Ravelry so I finished the sleeves I think last time I was like right here maybe when I showed you guys I love this detail on the bottom lots of stock in it in the main color not a whole lot of you know fun stuff to show off but the sleeves are done I'm ready they're separated I'm ready to pick up on the body and I have started the body and same as the sleeves that fun color work down at the bottom and just plain stuff in it I am carrying two balls of yarn at the same time which I've not ever done before I know that you're supposed to do that for um, indie dyed yarns and such um, you can I can't really tell maybe you can tell but there's like a little bit of a difference right here in tension where you can see where I've carried them both you can't really tell on the other side either like when you look at the individual stitches um, so I'm pretty sure that when I block this out you're not even gonna notice that at all I am going to make this into a cardigan and so I have added five extra stitches on the front and then I purl the first stitch and the last stitch of those five and then knit the three in the middle and I will take a crochet hook and do a slip stitch up uh, stitch number two and then stitch number four of those five all the way up and then I will snip stitch number three because this is going to be a cardigan for her I am really excited to get to the to the yoke um, let me show you a picture of the yoke part in case you forgot or don't want to pop over to Ravelry and take a peek so that is the yoke part and I think that with the colors that we chose, it really reminds me of like peacock feathers. I know that's probably not what was intended, but I feel like that's what it's going to remind me. So we have this Amazonite, Amazonite color down there. And then I showed you last time, but I can just show you again the colors that we're doing. We have this lovely violet violet. And Perry W. Inkle, Perry Winkle, and then the Amazonite. So those, yeah, that's about that's about true right there. So those three colors will be the pops of color in the top yoke of that sweater. So hopefully I can get this done for her by her birthday. She doesn't need it until the winter. And as I said before, we are trading. She is making me a dress, and I think last time I said that it was the Hinterland dress, and I think that that is the wrong name. So Liberated has lots of gorgeous patterns, and I think I really do like the Hinterland, 
but I think that I chose I can't remember the name of it but I will link it down below it's it's the dress where it's reversible and then it's got pockets on the one side that you can see and then on the other side the pockets I think are you know just like hidden in the side of the dress and I really wish I remember what that name was but I will link that down below that is all that I have going knit wise right now I've kind of slowed down a little bit because thankfully I was able to return to work um, my um, I work at my local yarn store and we have a wonderful online store and our customers have been more than generous supporting us they got so busy that they called me back and needed my help so that I was thankful for that and then um, I'm just excited to be able to squish all the yarn it does mean a little bit less uh, projects right now that are being completed most of these projects I completed in the month and a half that I was off of work I just I, I I just stressed, you know, de-stressed and knit on that because the homeschool was not my forte. That was causing me a lot of anxiety and stress, so I would just pick up and knit or crochet and just try to forget about it. My kids are actually doing well. We fell into a good groove with the homeschool um, and with me at work. It work. It just for our schedule, it works out. That homeschooling time is when I get home from work and their teachers are more than happy with you know them completing it we don't have any of the the zoom classroom meetings for our area because somebody ruined that for all of them it's it's such a shame my daughter was so looking forward to having a zoom classroom meeting with her classroom and she's in second grade um, but some student in the high school showed inappropriate images to some of the other students you know and so our school district shut that all down on zoom I, I don't know all the details they sent on a letter but I'm really happy to be back to work the kids are almost done with school I think we have like two weeks left and it's just been it's just been a different kind of life here lately, but I thank you all for stopping in and checking me out, and it's just a quick little video to show what I'm up to and what I finished. I don't generally like to show off, you know, oh I got this yarn, oh I got, you know, this in the mail. I do purchase lots of things. If that's something you guys are interested in seeing, I'm more than happy to help, but sometimes I feel like it's a little, um, hey, buy this, buy this, buy this, and I, I'm not saying that everybody needs to buy all the things, you know, like, so I just want to show you my work, but if it's something you guys are interested in seeing, the different yarns that I get, or the you know, notions and project bags which is that that's my downfall is the notions in the project bags that's that's where I go crazy um, let me know and I will be more than happy to share those things with you so in the meantime take everything one stitch at a time because that's all we can do bye